Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to be continuing my Blender avatar series and showing you how to add a piece of clothing onto an avatar in Blender. So let's get started. In the previous video, we went over how to add a base and a head to Blender to get started and how to adjust the materials and textures on that avatar so that they are all set and ready to go. So where we're at right now, we have a body, we have a head, and all of the materials for both the body and the head are set up. So the same way that we imported the body and the head, we're going to import the clothes. Now, as I went over in the last video, I have a folder that has all the FBXs that I want to put onto this avatar all set in the same area. I also have a folder that has all the textures that correlate with those FBXs in a textures folder named exactly how I want them to be named on my avatar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file, import, FBX, and I'm going to navigate to that folder that has all my FBXs in it for this model. And I'm going to go ahead and import this bikini right here, and I'm going to click import FBX. Now, as you can see, it's not in the right spot, which is totally fine. Do not worry, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to make sure that I have the bikini selected. And as you can see, this bikini does not have an armature. That's because it is not rigged. So I'm going to go ahead and have this selected. I'm going to click on the X to look at it from the X axis. And it looks like it just needs to go down. So I'm going to click G to move it. And as you can see, it moves around. But once I click Z on the Z axis, it's going to restrict it to just the Z axis, which is what I want. So I'm going to move it down so that it's in the exact right spot. Obviously, you would probably want to do this without the undies on, but because this is YouTube, I'm just not going to have any nude avatars being shown. So now that I have the bikini in place, I'm going to go ahead and click on these undies and either click X while my mouse is hovering over here, or I'm going to click X while my mouse is out here and click delete. So now that undies is gone and I have this bikini, which is the one that I would like to use. I'm using my middle mouse scroll wheel press to orbit around my model and just make sure that everything is normal. Before we work on rigging it, I'm going to set up the materials for it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this bikini. And down here you can see, I'm just going to name it bikini. This material is what is going to show up in Unity, and I like to have all of my materials be really clear as what they are so that when I go back to edit or if I were to sell this and someone else was going to edit, they could see that when they edit this material, it's going to be editing the bikini. I'm going to go down here to where it says base color. Again, we're using the surface of principled BSCF because this translates to Unity perfectly. I'm going to go ahead, toggle that down, and I'm going to open a new image texture. If it doesn't already have an image texture on there, you can just click this little yellow dot and go to image texture. But because this already does, we don't have to do that. We just toggle it down and click on open texture. I'm going to scroll down to where my bikini texture is. Double click on that. And as you can see, it did not apply to that, probably because we have a lot of other things going on down here. We're going to do the same thing that we did in the last one, and we're just going to clear all of the information that is in our principled BSDF and start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead remove the surface, click on the green dot and go to principled BSDF once again, click on the yellow dot, click on image texture for base color, open, go to textures, and I'm going to open my bikini texture once again. And there it is. Now this does have a normal map associated with it. So we'll go into more about how to add normal maps and stuff like that in a later video. So right now this is good for what I'm dealing with. Now that I have the material for this bikini all set up, what I want to do is make sure that the actual bikini is named properly. I like to have everything lowercase, but that is totally preference. You can name it whatever you want here. And then in order to get this bikini into this armature, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag my bikini on top of my armature and drop it right in. And this is going to parent my bikini to my armature, but this does not mean that it is weight painted yet. Now, what I mean by weight painting is the same thing that I mean by rigged. If you buy an asset that's rigged, that means it already has weight painted added. But honestly, a lot of the times when you have a rigged asset, the weight paint doesn't always work out the way you want. So a lot of the time I will just delete all of the weight paint that's already on it and create my own. But for now, because this doesn't have any rigging, I'm going to go ahead and auto weight paint this to the body. So the first step you want to do is make sure that it doesn't already have any weight paint on it. So I'm going to go down here to where we were looking at shape keys in the previous video. 
and we're going to look at vertex groups. And I have no vertex groups in here, but if you have a whole bunch of vertex groups and you want to reweight paint everything, you go to the drop down and then you go remove all groups. And this will take 100% of the weight paint off of this mesh. So now I'm going to go to this little wrench right here for the modifier properties. Click on that and we're going to add a modifier. Now the way modifiers work in Blender is it's basically just another way to edit things. And there's lots of different modifiers. You can go into so much detail about each and every one of these. But right now, we're only going to talk about the data transfer modifier. So I'm going to click on data transfer. And I'm going to go ahead and click this little eyedropper tool in the source. Because basically, we're transferring the data from one mesh, which is the body, to another mesh, which is the bikini. So on the body mesh, I'm going to have that as the source. So you can either select the body right here. You can go up here, select the body right here, or you can just click in here and select the body. I always use the eyedropper and just drop it right on anywhere on the body so that it says body mesh. Your mix mode, you want to replace the mix factor. You can just leave it at 100. All of these are just going to be how it is. And then down here, the data that we want to transfer from the body to the bikini is the vertex data. So this is basically just going to create vertex groups on your bikini mesh, which basically means it's going to copy the weight paint from the body to the bikini. I'm going to go ahead and click on vertex data. I'm going to click on vertex groups nearest vertex right here, which is already set perfectly fine. And then I'm going to click generate data layers, which is right here. Once you do that, you see that up here, these little icons, that this has generated vertex groups, which is this little icon right here in the middle. Then I'm going to go ahead and click this little drop down arrow and click apply. So now that I have vertex groups, I'm going to want to fix my model. And I always just double check this little wrench to make sure everything is unchecked. Click OK. And because I only have one armature, I don't have to choose between armatures. And so I'm just going to fix my model as it is. And once that's fixed, it will add a new modifier of armature onto it. This one you just leave here. All of your different things on your armature should have this modifier. So now if you were to click on your bikini and go down to all of your vertex groups, look at that. We have all of the vertex groups here that are on my body model are now applied to my bikini. And in order to test if this actually worked or not, what we're going to do is we're going to start pose mode and all of your bones will look a little bit different. And what you can do is just grab one of the bones and you can just move it around and see if it works. Now, obviously, you can see there's a little bit of like wonkiness here. Totally fine. Totally normal. And I'm just going to click stop pose mode because the vertexes were correctly applied. But I do want to smooth them out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my armature. You can either select it up here or you can select it in here and make sure that the whole armature is selected orange. I'm going to shift select my bikini so that it is the main selection. So right here you can see the bikini is selected in a lighter blue and the armature is selected in a darker blue. And that's how you want it. And then you're going to go up here on the left hand side to weight paint. Now this is very intimidating if you've never done it before, but we are just going to do the most simplest, easiest thing that you can do, which is blur. So all the way over here on the left hand side, you're going to click on the blur and you can have your blur strength set up to 100. You press the F key to make your cursor bigger or smaller. I'm going to make it pretty big because I'm not doing anything super specific here. And then you're going to control click on every bone that is applied. And as you can see, it's a little bit jagged right here and it's a little bit abrupt right here. So I'm just going to blend out all of this. Don't do it too much, just a little tiny bit so that you can see, because if you do it too much, you might actually edit the weight paint enough that it will clip through your body. And we definitely don't want that. So I'm just going to go over all the bones that have this weight painting on them, especially in this area so that we can have it a little bit smoother. And then one thing that you need to know about doing bikinis or bottoms or anything is that the crotch area right in between the legs is always really difficult to work with. So I'm going to control click on the leg bone and make sure that nothing is weight painted from the leg bone onto the crotch area of the bikini because when you move the leg, it will stretch out sideways and that is not good. And just to be sure of that, I'm going to go back up to the paintbrush right above the blur. I'm going to click on this little ball up here to select which kind of weight painting I want to do. And I'm going to click subtract. Make sure that your leg bone is selected. And I'm just going to go over the crotch, even though it doesn't look like there's any weight paint on there, which would be a red color or lighter green or lighter blue. I'm just going to make sure that none of that's there. And then I'm going to go ahead and click stop pose mode because that all looks really good. And I'm going to start pose mode once more to test out 
the weight painting. And I'm going to go up to this little icon right here with the butterfly. This is a mirror icon. So I'm going to mirror it on the X axis, which means when I move the left bone, the right bone is going to move with it. So it looks like the crotch area is great. If I move this part, it all looks good. And then I click stop pose mode. And now your bikini should be all good and done. And we have our first outfit item on that we weight painted from scratch to fit our model. I know this is a very brief overview of weight painting, but this is a really easy technique. It's just a couple of clicks. And once you've done it a few times, you'll totally remember how to do it in the future. And if you want to learn more about creating an avatar in Blender, check out the rest of the videos in this Blender avatar series. And until then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one.